right next up we need to add a little more realistic um, oh, sky here and just plain blue by itself is really dull so let's do something very simple we'll start in the oils category and pick gooey smear uh, we're going to change both our foreground and background colors to white that that gives us sort of an erase tool and a drawing tool um, we're just going to start blocking out basic clouds now if we want to draw over this we'll, we'll want to be able to restore that mountain later so let's just store a copy of that actually in uh, future versions of Haller there'll be a button there for that um, this way we can go ahead and paint directly over this and we can come back and restore it later all right not a big deal neat thing you can do uh, in Haller is use fade last action which is great for uh, effects where you want to uh, create sort of a wet on wet look sort of um, uh, if this were an oil painting you, you could smear um, acetone on there or if it was a, a, a watercolor painting you could uh, you could put water on there to thin this down and start smearing it and when we fade this out you'll start to see this uh, kind of a semi opaque semi translucent uh, look here in fact let's go ahead and put some clouds over this as well a little bit weird looking but we can restore all that later and finish off basically up here this is a great technique for creating translucent washes and that sort of thing where we don't want to obliterate our detail but we just kind of want to add to it or make it more wispy looking like we just took a, a, a fan brush and just wisp it over wisp, wisped it over that very useful for that all right so there we go we gotta restore that one good way to do that is with the rub through tool so I'll just go to the swap image I'll restore that copy we had earlier um, and I'll use a more predictable tool for this let's try under um, something a little more predictable than that particular tool just pick something I'm going to make the mode rub through and I should now let's see that wasn't a good choice let me pick a different brush basic would be perfect let's see hard edge that's fine I'll make it rub through and I should be able to start rubbing that sky into here this is gonna be this is gonna look like a painting so we don't have to be exactly precise unless that's what you're into so I'll go ahead and paint that in here bear in mind I'm using a mouse here <laughs> all right that gets the idea across let me uh, use an airbrush tool this will be a little bit better uh, let's see I'll make it let's see rub through again I want to get some of these clouds in here maybe nah yeah it was a good idea but no I don't want to completely obliterate our foreground in fact I might want to touch up yet a little bit more let's see I can rub through again like that okay so that basically is one technique we're doing some interesting things uh, that rub through mode and we basically created our sky we're still not real happy with the colors here um, a lot of different things we can do with the sky adjust the hue until we get just where we want it might be useful to use that selection fader tool just select the sky part we don't want to change the mountains after all Let's see, go with a deeper blue up at the top, or green, or red. Let's try that. All right, and I said we would use that median filter to make things look a little more artistic. I tend to do that a lot. It's a very simple filter. Instead of where a blur filter might average all the neighboring pixels, the median filter just basically sorts them and picks the middle color so it uses all the original colors from the image 
and it doesn't blur anything but it kind of rearranges the pixels in a way so go to evolve and median or even this adjustable median can be interesting here let's see evolve adjustable median this uses sort of a bigger window and you can get some very artistic looking results using that uh that's reasonable all right so we have basically covered uh, creating a, uh, a mountain backdrop and a sky. Uh, next up is adding some foliage. And in our next video, we'll go ahead and start talking about that. We'll be using the built-in foliage tool and some glazing techniques.